Hello traders, this is Shlomo Cooper and we are with a Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. The market started the week on a positive note yesterday. It was a continuation of what we saw last week. So the market inched higher on Monday, then the investors are waiting for the Federal Reserve meeting that starts uh, today. It will come to a conclusion on a Wednesday afternoon. So the S&P 500 was able to close at another fresh all-time highs with small gains of 0.1% say for the day. What was most notable about the action yesterday is that it was more stock driven than index driven. In fact, the fang names, and this is the short we give to the mega cap stocks like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. So the big caps actually finished uh, in the red. Actually, if you take a look closer on the NASDAQ, around midday, the NASDAQ purred gains sharply and reversed course after news of pricing change at Amazon.com's web services uh, business. So just take a look together with me how Amazon traded yesterday. And after being already on the decline trail, it went into a sharp sell-off in the last two hours of trading after news of a pricing change. Um, looking back on the daily chart of the SPY, everything still looks very good. Last week we had, you know, a textbook a breakout, as you can see right now. This is a cup formation and the conditions were very good for the breakouts to hold. As the move on Monday last week caught many folks leaning on the wrong side. So the bears were actually looking for the combination of a devastating hurricane, negative seasonality, you know that September is the worst month on the calendar, and Washington chaos, all to pressure the market last week. But instead of that, they were squeezed and many underinvested bulls were forced to chase the price and to buy at high, at high levels. So there is still momentum in uh, the market. There is lots of cash on the sidelines. Even though the Fed's about to reduce their balance sheet, you continue to have incredibly aggressive uh, monetary policy and that continues to lead to money flowing into the market almost uh, in an indiscriminate fashion. Although the indexes were barely up yesterday, the most of the action you could have found is was in individual names. And you know, this is really the advantage of us as individual market players. Uh, take Nvidia, for example, NVDA for me and many other day traders, Nvidia became the go-to stock. This is a stock that I'm watching and trading almost every day. After sharp gains we had on Friday, Nvidia was able to attract more buyers uh, yesterday on Monday and th the ability to build um, this sort of momentum is quite impressive. You have to admit that. Yesterday it was Bank of America, Mary Lynch, who raised its NVIDIA price target from $185 to $210 with a buy rating. The analysts called NVIDIA a top pick and they see artificial intelligence, which is a very a hot subject uh, in the technology world, as a major potential tailwind uh, for NVIDIA. So Bank of America right now has the second high highest price target on NVIDIA behind only Everscore with a $250 a target. Just take that. Okay, let's take a look on the trading for Tuesday. Um, we are entering the second half of uh, the month of September and it is well known that September is the worst month of the year for the stock, for the stock market. And, and this is actually the week when that negative seasonality is at its worst. Actually, according to statistics, since 1961, the week following the third Friday of September, this is going to be this week, has produced on average the most negative results of the year. This week has been a loser about 68% of the time, almost 70%. And you know, this is the kind of statistics that I just love 
to see a situation when the advantage is massively on my side. So I'm going to trade it and to lean on the bearish side of uh, the market. Among other stocks in our hot stocks list, you will find Intel INTC, which rose uh, more than 1.2% yesterday in the extended trading following the company's announcement that it will invest $1 billion in artificial intelligence. Thank you all for watching. Have a great trading day and I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.